As we move through September, investors are likely to be focused on several key market drivers, especially the degree of policy support that can be expected from governments and central banks in major economies, such as the US, China and Europe, as economic activity slowly returns to normal. All eyes will be on the timing of the Fed's exit from its quantitative easing program. While much will depend on the incoming economic data, our base case scenario is that the Fed will announce in November that it will begin reducing its asset purchases in December. We expect the overall pace of tapering to be very gradual, which will provide support for risk assets for the rest of 2021. This is also reflected in the persistently low levels of 10-year US Treasury yields at around 1.3% at the end of August after Fed Chairman Powell's speech at the annual Jackson Hole Symposium. Another key driver of markets will be US fiscal policy. September will be a busy month for the US Congress, with lawmakers set for high-stakes negotiation over a proposed US dollar $1.2 trillion infrastructure bill and an even more ambitious $3.5 trillion anti-poverty and climate spending plan. To complicate things further, dissenting Republican lawmakers have threatened to withhold support for an increase in the US debt ceiling as the deadline nears to prevent Democrats from bulldozing their plans through Congress. Overall, the outlook for risk assets remains positive, with greater scope for volatility as we head into the final months of the year. We believe a bottom-up, selective approach is critical, and investors should be prepared for short-term corrections given the extended rally we have experienced. Several key risks remain, including the ongoing spread of the COVID-19 Delta variant in key economies, which we will continue to monitor closely. Within our asset allocation strategy, we remain positive on equities overall, with a preference for US equities. Firm price trends over the next few months should keep cyclical sectors and companies that are beneficiaries of inflation relatively supported over the near term. In fixed income, we remain positive on emerging market high yield bonds, where valuations still look relatively attractive and should offer a buffer against the adverse impact of rising rates compared to other fixed income segments. We stay cautious on both developed market and emerging market investment grade bonds, where historically rich valuations leave little buffer against rising rates. For more information, please read the latest edition of our monthly investment guide titled A Season for Doves.